the death of Navy SEAL candidate Kyle Mullen. It's raising questions about the grueling training session known as Hell Week, as some of his friends are speaking out for the first time. Kaylee Hartung has the exclusive interviews. Good morning, Kaylee. Yeah, good morning, George. Imagine endless running, even boats over your head, swimming for miles, being pounded by the waves of the Pacific, all while being sleep deprived. That is Hell Week. Kyle Mullen survived it just as his friends expected him to, but he didn't live to tell about it. Now those friends, his family and the Navy are asking why. This morning, the Navy searching for answers as one candidate in the Navy SEAL selection process is dead and another hospitalized just hours after successfully completing the most punishing week in the six month assessment, what's known as Hell Week. One such accident is one, one too many. If it, we just don't know. We just don't know what happened here. The Pentagon asking for time to allow the Navy to investigate the death of 24 year old Kyle Mullen, the fourth candidate to die during SEAL selection since 2001. The other sailor, whose identity will not be made public, is said to be in stable condition. Through this grueling five and a half day evolution, most of which you're awake for, there's a couple breaks where you'll grab one to two hours of sleep, but only a few times. You're tested as though you're in combat. New Jersey's governor calling Mullen a legend in his hometown of Manalapan, ordering all state flags to be lowered in his memory. When the, the news broke, I went over to uh, to Kyle's house and, uh, you know, it was it was shocking. In a GMA exclusive, Mullen's friends describing the passion and drive Mullen brought to his pursuit of becoming a SEAL. He said, what's the most elite thing I could do in the world? And that's become a Navy SEAL. So that's what he set out to do. Both friends last communicating with Mullen just before he began the infamous Hell Week course. Now consoling each other and the Mullen family through this shocking and difficult time. Uh, we're confident that with the outreach from the community, we're going to help them get over this. They're just taking it day by day for now. His friends say there are so many people reaching out to support the Mullen family, and they've helped create a memorial in the high school football field that Kyle played on in his honor. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.